Hi students, how are you? Today we are here to discuss about NEET 2020, which is compulsory for all the students who are opting for MBBS. As we all know that this year approximately 16 lakh students are appearing in NEET but only 77,000 seats are available for MBBS. Today I am here to give you a few tips on how to prepare for the exam and not to panic before the exam and uh, one more thing which is very important is sleep. Like if you don't sleep properly and you don't sleep for 7 to 8 hours then you, your brain will not work properly and you won't be able to grab the things which you are studying. So sleep is very important and keep make sure you sleep for approximately 7 to 8 hours otherwise you will be stressed and you will not be able to grab the things which you are studying. After every 3 to 4 hours you should take regular breaks because if you continuously study for uh, more than 4 to th uh, 5 hours then it will be hectic for you and your brain will be hypoxic and you won't be able to grab things so well. The next point is you should eat properly. Now, if you don't eat properly, your brain will not work properly and won't be getting the proper nutrition which, it, which is required. Make sure to eat fruits more, otherwise the brain will be hypoxic and uh, you know, you can't memorize the things which is required for your exam. Also, you should um, e eat after every 3 to 4 hours so that you know, you don't feel hungry and if you feel hungry, uh, you'll think about food only and won't be able to memorize the things which is required for the exam. One more very important thing which I am about to tell you guys is do not discuss your syllabus or uh, the, uh, things you have studied with your friends. You know, uh, uh, you will feel very low if they are ahead of you but if you uh, just study by yourself and it will help you a lot. Uh, don't try to discuss it with the friends, you know, that uh, you have studied this much or that much. Just try to keep it to yourself. Uh, you should have a schedule prepared for yourself like all the major subjects should be prepared every single day like small small uh, gaps between the every single subject and do not forget to revise the previous stuffs which is very important keep on revising like especially bio you should keep on revising so that you don't forget the things and make sure you practice the numericals which are there in physics and uh, chemistry so you should keep on uh, remembering the equations you must be knowing these things so make sure you study or uh, revise almost everything which have been uh, previously done by you and uh, don't forget to revise i'll keep on telling you guys to just revise 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 few health tips during the exam is uh, first of all i told you the basic thing is sleep well eat well and uh, you should always eat nutritious uh, diets uh, drink plenty of fluid you need it plenty of fluid use um, like you can uh, sometimes binge eat like uh, ice creams or things like uh, especially chocolate it helps you to you know uh, mood stabilizers natural mood stabilizers you can eat fruits go for fruit juices make fruit juices you can have smoothies and all which is very helpful you can add a uh, spinach which is very uh, nutrient efficient and uh, what just just eat what you like don't uh, just don't pull back you should go ahead of everything and just go for the exam and you will do definitely well if you are confident enough don't uh, underestimate yourself do not lose confidence do not be scared do not be stressed it's it will really help you a lot now uh, the target for the exam should be you should finish your syllabus by uh, before two months of the exam and then the two months should only be your revision period. You should not study anything new, anything which comes in your mind that you should do it right now or anybody tells you to study anything new in that, those two months. You should not do it. You should only do only, uh, the revision because revision is very important because if you go in exam without uh, revision it will be very difficult for you to remember the previous stuff so make sure you revise approximately two to three times the whole syllabus minimum two to three times you should revise i know it's a huge thing it, it, it it's very big syllabus but still you should not forget that revision is very important for the exam uh, one more thing i'm about to tell you is you should go for um, uh, yoga 
meditation these things really help you to remember things and memorize stuffs so make sure you do few meditation or you can do dancing as well few physical exercises can be helpful during the stress period very important is you are not, you shouldn't be scared you should be proud of yourself that at least you are appearing for the exam and eligible for the exam itself because mbbs is a very important and a big thing so make sure you are not scared uh, you will do well if you are prepared well if you are revision is well but don't be scared just go for it and all the best for the preparation